What's up, friends? It is Sunday, and as you know, I recently got back from Florida, and I thought I would do a little Florida haul because I did some shopping, so this could be lengthy. Grab a beverage, tea, snack, and uh, let's just, uh, let's get into this. So let's start off with uh, what I'm wearing. Uh, I got these at Epcot. These are my Mickey ears from the Canadian Pavilion. Uh, I just felt like I needed some Mickey ears in my life, and distraction, there's a deer running down the road right now. Um, please, please don't get hit by a car. Okay, sorry about that, he made it across. Uh, anyways, I love them, I think they are just adorable, and I had to have them. Uh, secondly, I got this cute Mickey, it's a crop top, and he's just, you know, rainbow colored Mickey. I got this at Target. I just love me a classic Mickey t-shirt and I've really, oh man, the deer are all over there. All the distractions. Oh my goodness. Okay. I have really been into crop tops for like doing yoga or warming up in or even just with like a high-waisted pair of jeans or shorts and so, uh, I love it. It's perfect and it was Target so it was very reasonably priced and I love it. I love Mickey. Continuing with headwear because I went a little hat crazy. I got three baseball caps. Now I suffer from eczema and I am really sensitive to the sun. I was when I was younger. It got a little bit better but now as I'm getting older I'm finding I really have to be careful in the sun. So I wear baseball hats a ton in the summer just to protect my face. And I did take one with me, but I found some cute ones and I just couldn't pass them up. So the first one I got was from Target. It's got a whale on it. It says make every day Earth Day. And I, I love it. I love being a good trucker hat and I love the color love the whale and the saying and so I saw this and again target reasonably priced had to have it the next hat that I got I got it from buckle and it's just this uh, white camo hat it's got like a little bit of distressing on the peak and what I love about this hat is it's a ponytail hat so it's adjustable in the back because I have a very small head. But then you have all these options for how you wear your ponytail or your hair tied back. You've got all these holes so you can have it a higher ponytail and you can still wear this hat and it looks super cute. And I wore this a ton, especially like by the pool. I love this hat and it was a decent price too. Buckle. And then the last hat I got is another kind of trucker or maybe skater hat, I don't know. Uh, I got it from Vans and it has this cute little dog on it with a Vans collar and it just says Forge for Happiness. Mm. I love this hat. I'm digging it. I've been wearing this quite a bit since I've got home and I know I will wear it a ton in the summer and I think it is so cute. This is at the Vans outlet. We went to the Mall at Millennia which is Definitely the ritzier mall, tons of super expensive stores that I wouldn't even walk into because I'm just, you know, just like saving for Africa. So not gonna go into all these expensive stores, but that's where the buckle was. So that's where I got that hat. And I did want to go to Abercrombie and that was the only one that we could find. And so I was successful there too. We'll get there. Uh, but the Vans was at the Van Outlet. There's quite a few outlet stores in Orlando. So this was at the Orlando Premium Outlets and did really well there too. Uh, but yeah, I got this. And then I also got some socks, which I mean, they're, they're nothing fancy. I'm wearing them. Just some gray Van socks and then some like lime green ones and some 
green and white checkered ones. But I love the higher sport socks, so I've been wearing them a ton. That's all the headwear that I got. Let's move on to footwear. So I got only two pairs of shoes. I usually go crazy in the States uh, for shoes because I can find my size. I have a size five foot and it's hard to find shoes my size around here without having to order them. But the first pair I got are just some flip flops. These are reef flip flops. Navy blue, they're super squishy. I have an old pair of reef flip flops and I've had them for so long. I actually think I bought them the last time I was in Florida, like 2009. And they're, they're starting to look pretty shabby and I just wanted a replacement. So these are super comfortable and I will get a ton of wear out of these in the summer, especially like I, this is what I tend to like take paddle boarding. I'll like have my flip flops on and then I can just easily put them in the straps at the front if I need to throw some shoes on. So love those. And then the second pair of shoes I got are these New Balance sneakers. I have been on the hunt for New Balance sneakers. These are just like lifestyle sneakers. These are the 574. And I have wanted a pair of these for years and there's been so many times when I've almost ordered a pair but I've never actually seen them in store in my size and at, there was a New Balance outlet at the Orlando Premium outlet and these were on sale. They were my size. These are actually kids and they fit me perfectly and I love them and I am so happy to finally have a pair. I know I'll wear these a ton for like especially at work because I'm just all about comfort at work but they're stylish and I love the color, I love blue. Didn't even really pick, these are like the exact same color. I didn't even really think about that when I bought them, but I'm very excited to finally have these shoes in my life. Couple other things before we like get into the clothes. We got this little card game called Trash Panda. Obviously I had to get it because it's about raccoons. Because we have so many fairly complicated board games that, you know, take a while to play. I like to have a few just fun, quick card games where if you're in the mood to play a game but you don't want something long, then you can just grab one of these fun little card games. So I haven't played it yet, but excited to try it because it sounds kind of fun. Well, we're talking about raccoons. I got this guy at Epcot. It's Rocket. Like I've mentioned, I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I love raccoons. Rocket is my favorite character from Guardians of the Galaxy. Rocket is what I named one of the raccoons that always comes to our backyard. So I knew I kind of wanted something Rocket as a souvenir uh, from Epcot and so I got him. Part of me was just like, should I get him for Conan? Mm, no, Rocket's for me. So he'll probably just go in the basement where I geek out and have like some of my, you know, geekier memorabilia. I love him, he is so cute, little Rocket. And while we're talking about Conan, I did bring something home from him. I was originally wanting something more themed, like something from Disney, but I just couldn't really find anything that would have been a toy that I knew that he would actually like and play with. Uh, so I went with the classic BarkBox toy because, you know, Target sells BarkBox and he loves BarkBox toys and I just thought this was hilarious. It's just, you know, a little chicken, it's super soft. Uh, he loves the toys that have really, really soft fur. He's really not a rough player when it comes to toys. He has so many toys because he never destroys them. But when they're this super soft material, he just likes to give them little tiny nibbles and it's so adorable. And so I got him this crazy chicken. I do have a couple other things that aren't clothes because I flew home. I left a lot of the stuff with my parents because I didn't want to have to check a bag. I just wanted to be able to get out of the airport as quick as possible so we could get home. So I just took a backpack and a small carry-on. So because I bought quite a few things uh, and then my luggage full of all of my clothes, I just left there and they brought it home. And uh, one of the bags of stuff that I have was a little bit more buried in the car and we, we missed it when they dropped everything off. So I'll insert that in at the end when I get it. It's some more breakable things that I got. But now 
let's get into some clothes. There's a lot of them and I'm excited about it. Okay, so let's start off with Abercrombie. Went to the Mall of Millennia because I knew I wanted to go to Abercrombie. Uh, the first thing I got is this beautiful little summer dress. Sorry, it's very wrinkly. And it's just got, I love the coloring of the flowers on this with like the tealy blues to baby blues and then the browns on a beige base. It's so beautiful. And they had lots of different clothing pieces in this pattern. They had shorts that were really cute. I tried them on, but I was also like trying not to just buy everything. They had a cute top. And I feel like they had more. I think they did, but I can't think of them right now. But I opted for the dress because I think with like a cute little light cardigan, I could even get away with like wearing this to work. Even though I wear more comfortable stuff to work <laughs> nowadays. No, I don't wear many dresses, but I just thought you, you can, it never hurts to have a cute summer dress in your wardrobe. Next up, I got a pair of dress pants and this was the reason why I went to Abercrombie in the first place. So it's just a pair of beige dress pants, but they are big, wide-legged, and I apologize, even on the try-on, these are gonna be wrinkly, but I don't feel like ironing them right now, so let's just, we're just gonna go with it. So they're, they've got the pleats in the front, and they're high-waisted, they've got pockets in the back, pockets in the front, and these are so comfortable, and these are gonna be great for work. So I'll be dressier, but still very comfortable, which is key, that's key super happy that I grabbed a pair and they come in a bunch of different colors and I feel like down the road I will probably grab more but the key thing for me was being able to try at least my first pair on so I know what size to get in the future and what's great too is they have like regular length and short length and I'm short so these are the perfect length I won't even have to get them hemmed which is amazing so down the road, I'm definitely gonna have to get more colors of these, but at least now I know exactly what size to order. Uh, the last thing that I got at Abercrombie is this oversized uh, crew neck sweatshirt. As you know, I live in crew neck oversized sweaters now, and I just loved, loved this one. It just says the desert arches. Uh, Utah, and then it's got a lizard on it, and it's so cozy. I did actually wear this a little bit in Florida just in the evening when we were just hanging out in the room, and it's super cozy, and I just love that it already looks kind of like distressed and vintage, and did I need it? No, but uh, I just couldn't leave it. I loved it too much. Uh, the next two items I got are from Buckle, the same place that I got the uh, white camo hat. So I got this beautiful white blouse that has like a little tie detail in the front and then just this sort of crocheted detailing on the top and the top of the sleeves and the shoulders. This is a little bit different for me. The Just because the sleeves are like quite poofy, but I just thought it was so cute and this will be great for work and I'm trying to dress up a little bit more. It's very hard to convince myself in the morning, but I just think this will be really cute at work and I like to try things that are like a little bit out of my comfort zone. And the other thing I just got is just this cute kind of taupey brown tank top. It's fairly like thick and plushy, like it's a really nice material in the inside like borderline feels like it's a little brushed if it's, it's a little fleecy inside so it's very comfortable and this will be great like I'm actually picturing this maybe tucked in with those dress pants we'll see this will just be great as like a piece to layer other things over and I think I can wear this to work and it's just really it's a really beautiful color the next thing I got from one of the Disney stores it's just this you know vintage Mickey another crew neck sweatshirt it is so cozy and I just wanted to come home with like something Mickey and I clearly came home with a couple things Mickey but this is so cozy and great. I will wear this a ton. I love it. I love Mickey. Yeah. Uh, so next up I got a few t-shirts. 
the last year or so I've also really been into like baggier t-shirts so I picked up a few uh, well in Florida so this first one just makes me laugh so it's just this red t-shirt with a frog and toad head on them they're basically right where you know the boobs are <laughs> and then the back is a just you know frog and toad we ate at a pub at st augustine and it was called red frog and mctoad's grub and pub and so this is actually the t-shirt that the wait staff wear and i loved it now this is a medium i probably would have gotten a small but they were sold out of smalls in all the colors and still this is just really comfy and cozy to throw on with some shorts when you're or sweatpants when you're lounging around and i i just love it i actually wore this a ton just lounging around uh, when we were just hanging out at the timeshare Next up is this pink tea from Ron John's. Ron John's is always a must. When we go to Florida, we did go to Cocoa Beach. There's a huge Ron John's there. So we stopped in. And so the front is, you know, just the little logo at the top. But the back has this huge graphic on it. Um, it says lifeguard on duty, but the lifeguard is a dog. I love it. I, I saw it and I, I had to have it. So yeah, just... You know, a little bit of a bag year tee. And I don't really have a lot this color. I don't wear a ton of pink. So I know I will get a ton of wear out of this this summer. And the last tee I got, again, this color. We went to Disney Springs a few times and I actually got this t-shirt before we ate at this place, but we ended up eating at it later. There's this huge restaurant called The Boathouse, and we just went into the gift shop to peruse our first night there. And what caught my attention is, you know, this little dog holding a beer. It says rescue dog. Conan is a rescue dog. Uh, and then the back is just this black lab rescue dog. And it says, every dog has its day. And it's carrying good boy beer. And I, I couldn't let it go. I loved it. I didn't even care that I had never eaten there. But then we ended up eating there anyways and the food was great. The experience was great. It was a really neat restaurant. So even better that I have the t-shirt. But I've also, I've been wearing this a ton since I've been home. Because this is one of the things that I put on my carry-on to, to come home. So just a great lounging tee. But I'll also wear it out because it's super cute. So the next thing I got is something very different for me. It's a jumpsuit. I got this at Ron John's and it's just got spaghetti straps and comes down to a V, but it's got a little clip here to make sure that you're held in, nothing's spilling out. And then it's just like super wide leg and then it's a little cropped. So definitely out of my comfort zone, but super cute. I think the only thing I would change about it if I could is that I wish it had pockets, it does not, but it's still super cute and I think it'll be great in the summer. Uh, as we're starting to get into warmer days with like a cute little cardigan over top, I think that'd be super cute. So yeah, I'm excited to have something different and stylish to, to wear this summer. Next up, I got this from the Disney store in the Orlando Premium Outlets. And this I actually saw online and it's, kids so i never ordered it because i had no idea like what size but it it spoke to me and so when i saw it there on clearance and i could try it on and get my size uh, it's a christmas sweater so obviously we'll be wearing it till next year but it has ewoks all over it i love star wars and uh i love ugly christmas sweaters so i saw this on clearance and it fit me i could not uh, let it go just a star wars on the back got candy canes presents yeah it's fantastic and i love it i love it also at orlando premium outlets there was a super dry store and i was super excited when i discovered there was one uh the only super dry store i've ever been in was in the airport in ireland and i bought a sweatshirt there and two pairs of sweatpants like i just love their sweats and so i went in and i came home with two sweatshirts because they had a deal if you bought two sweatshirts so this one is just like marled 
light gray. It says, you know, real super dry. And then it's got a tiger on it. If there's an animal option, I get the animal option. Every time. But it's a super cozy sweatshirt. And my style has like changed, you know, over the years. My super dry sweater that I got in Ireland is basically this color. And I still love it, but I got it a little smaller fitting. And I don't know, I can still wear it. I, it still looks great, but it's just a little tighter than how I like my sweatshirts to fit now. And so I got a bigger size than the two sweatshirts and they're just so much more cozier and just comfier. So I don't know, I might just donate my other super dry one because I feel like I'll wear this one way more than the other one. Like I'll probably just always grab this one or the other one that I got in, as part of that deal. This deep green color and I don't know, I love, I love when there's like stripes on things. So it's got two stripes on both arms and again, animal. It's just got this leopard on it. Again, just a super dry, but this is like a raised, almost kind of looks like carpety material on it. And again, super cozy, comfy, and I got it the same size as that other one, so just like slightly bigger. Um, I wouldn't even say an oversized fit. It's just super cozy and got lots of room to layer things underneath it. I find my other one, like even a t-shirt, it's almost like too tight, so super excited that I got these at a great deal. Yeah, we're getting down, we're getting down to it. So, we're jumping all over the place here, but just go with it. Let's just go with it. At Target, when I got this shirt, I also got a pair of overalls. I have been on the hunt for overalls that fit me for years. I have tried on so many different pairs, and none of them fit me the way I want them to. And these did. And they only had one, and I think these were a size zero, and I honestly, Almost didn't try them on because I'm not a size zero anywhere, but they just kind of look like they might possibly fit. So I did go back and grab them and I thought, you know what, they're probably way too small, but I'm just gonna give it a go just in case because I like the look of, of these. And they fit me perfectly. I love them. I am so glad that I ended up trying them on. After years and years of being on the hunt, I finally found the overalls of my dreams at Target. Lastly, we went to a Marshalls, and at that point I wasn't really on the look for anything, but I was just kind of browsing, and I found these cute tropical leaf print shorts, and I fell in love with them. I don't have a ton of like fun, funky shorts like this, I just have a ton of jean shorts. And I've been wanting to get some that aren't denim, and so I just, I grabbed these by a whim and I tried them on and I was just like, ooh, these are so fun and they're comfy and I love the way they fit. I think they would be cute with like a tighter top tucked into them. They also look cute with a crop top. So I think I will get a ton of wear out of these this summer. And then something completely different for me. I've never been a matchy matchy pajama girl usually just wear some sort of t-shirt, some sort of like comfy short, but I don't know, I got perusing their pajamas and they had some really cute sets. So the first set I got is this cute gray with sort of a baby pink trim, just Hurley, Hurley shirt. And then comes with these cute little Shorts, these are kind of shorter than I would normally wear. I mean, I know you're just wearing them to bed, but they're really soft. And I just thought they looked really cute as a set. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna become a matchy matchy pajama girl. Maybe not all the time, but when the mood strikes, I'm gonna, you know, wear some matching pajamas. And because I decided this while I was there, why not get two pairs? So the second pair, that I got is this like fun tropical print. Again, super soft material. Um, these are Kate Spade. So again, same style, like the t-shirt with the buttons. This again kind of has like a light pinks, creamy 
piping detail. But instead of shorts, these are pants. I typically like, as my loungewear, or joggers are cuffed at the bottom, but these are like wide leg, comfy lounge pants and they're super soft and I think these will be nice in the summer because sometimes when it's hotter, I still want to lounge in longer pants, but sweatpants are just too hot. So I think these will even be great for like in the summer if there's like a cooler evening and I want to wear pants, but not sweatpants, love them. And again, this, this one confused me, but I loved it enough that I still got it. So this wasn't in the pajamas. This was just in with like the shirts. And this is a Lily Pulitzer top, but it feels, it's maybe not quite as soft, but it still feels like this should be a pajama top. And again, it's very tropical and vibrant. Oh my God, I'm just like noticing things. So <laughs> it's got a bunch of cats and dogs on it. Honestly, I think I thought they were leopards and stuff, but now that I'm looking like this, <laughs> this is so funny. Um, this dog has a cone on his head. He's a cone dog. We're in the cone of shame. I think that's hilarious that's on there. They're being very inclusive with having a poor dog with the cone of shame on. I love that. So it's just got all these dogs and cats, and I mean, this like Dalmatian has a little lay on it. And I thought it was so cute. And I was just like, oh, I want this pajama top. But then I'm like, I feel like there should be shorts. And even like my my mom and aunt were just like, this 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 looks like pajamas. I don't think you would just wear this as a top, but then maybe you would. I don't know. I got this as a pajama top. I searched their pajamas looking for shorts. I went into the shorts. I went into the pants, thinking there must be matching bottoms somewhere, but I couldn't find them. But I still loved this so much that I I got it anyways. So I'll just you know wear it with another pair of shorts. I mean I've got so many pajama shorts of different colors that I, you know, I know I have some navy ones. So we're still gonna wear this, you know, to bed, but I was wishing I could have found the shorts. I think that would have been a great matching set as well. Like, I went from zero matching pajama sets to, well, two. It's not a lot, but I just, I, I went all in when I decided I wanted matching pajama sets. So that is everything that I have right now. Like I said, there's a few things that uh, made it all the way home with my parents. So we're just gonna like go into the future to when I have those items to show you. So I now have the rest of my haul from Florida. So there's just a couple other pieces. First of all, last article of clothing is this cropped crew neck sweatshirt. Uh, I got it at Ron John's, it's rip curl. And the thing that sold me was the back. I don't know why I just love skeletons doing things, but. So the back is just the skeleton surfing and I saw it and I'm like, oh, I love cropped crew necks. Love them for yoga and just lounging around. And so I had to have it. So that's the last article of clothing. Uh, the next few things I got are mugs. I know I don't need more mugs, but as you know, I have a Ray Dunn obsession and it is insane the amount of Ray Dunn you can find at Home Goods or Marshalls down there. It's just like a whole other level in the States. So I knew a lot of this stuff existed, but I've just never seen it in my area. So first of all, I got this mug that says The Claw, Toy Story. It's got the little alien on the back. Love it. There is a huge Ray Dunn Disney line of mugs and I knew it existed, but I've just never seen any around here and I've always loved the little aliens. So had to bring that. I also just love the blue in the middle. So got that mug. The other Ray Dunn mug I got, I only got two. I really had to hold myself back and I got it to have as a work mug. So it is actually already at work, but I saw the writing on it first. Just from the writing, I had an idea of what was gonna be on the back, but it just says, if I only had a brain, which cracks me up. I had a feeling it was Wizard of Oz, and it is. The scarecrow is on the back of it. And I just think it's hilarious, because sometimes I just feel like, you know, 
we all have those moments where we just feel like we don't really have a brain. Uh, and so I'm like, oh, this is, this is definitely coming to work with me because I think it'd be hilarious. And I love the, the yellow of the inside of that mug too. So yeah, I've already been using it a ton at work. The last mug I got, not right on, but is this blue stitch mug. It says Ohana means family on the back. I love Stitch. He is one of my favorite Disney characters. I also just love that movie because way back in the day, I used to do Hawaiian dancing hula. I still have my skirt. I made it. We had to order supplies from Hawaii and then make our own skirts. And so because it's set in Hawaii, I've just always loved that movie and he is just adorable. And I knew going to Florida, I wanted to come home with something Stitch and I didn't have much luck. Like even at Epcot, we went into a few Disney stores. I just didn't find, I saw some Stitch things, but nothing that I really cared for. So when I saw this at Home Goods, I got the three mugs at Home Goods. I was like, you know what? Yes, I want me a Stitch mug. And I love the color blue. I mean, Stitch is blue. So I just, I love the color of this mug and yeah, I, I couldn't leave it behind. And Home Goods, the prices are insane. I think this was, like $4.99. I know with the dollar, uh, it was still way more than that, but like you can't, even with the exchange, you can't get mugs like this for that price, so. This next guy, he's a tiki mug. I love tiki mugs. This guy I got at the Westgate Resort. Uh, there's like around the pools, there's bars, and this is the souvenir mug that you could get, and then, any other drink that you ordered and put into this mug was at a cheaper rate. And so I was like, tiki mug, yes please. Also because he's plastic and he has a lid, I think he will be perfect for taking drinks out to the hot tub. So that's kind of why I was just like, you know what? This will be great for the hot tub. And I just love this tiki mug. Also, look at the glutes on that guy. Like this guy, this guy squats, he works out, but. Yeah, I used this a ton when I was there because they had all these different cocktails and I was all about trying them. So I got a lot of good use and got some savings by using him and I'll use him a ton here too, so yeah. Love him. So last three things, when we went to Orlando Premium Outlets, there was a Disney store there. Everything there because it was a, because it's an outlet everything was cheaper than if you were to buy it at another Disney store. But then they also had a clearance section and it was, they had a bunch of Halloween stuff in there. And so I spotted this ghost Mickey candle and I knew this existed. So I was very excited when I found it. And uh, the smell is actually pretty good too. I actually don't know what the scent is but it kind of smells a little caramelly, caramelly. So I just thought he was adorable and I love him. And he was crazy clear. It's like he's regular $34.99 American. Uh, and he was on clearance for $6. So I had to bring him home with me and I can't wait to like bring him out at Halloween. I'm kind of sad that I just have to like store him away, but I'm very excited to have him. Another clearance item that I got from the Halloween collection, I didn't get this at the outlet store. This was actually in Disney Springs, but it was still on sale because it was Halloween. But it is another candle, and it's the Poison Candy Apple from Snow White. And I also knew this existed. I know that there's cups and candle holders like little tea light holders that you can get in this. And so I've always wanted something poison apple. And so I was very excited when I found this. Uh, it is so awesome and I can't wait again to bring this out at Halloween. Sad that I have to put it away right away. And this has like an apple scent to the candle, which I also enjoy so i don't know i might light these because even as the like i'll just keep the holders once the candle is gone but yeah so stoked that i was able to find this in the ghost candle 
Last thing, we're there. Another tiki mug. There is like a long kind of sad story behind this guy. So this is a crazy tiki mug on the back. It just says Trader Sam's and I really wanted to go to the Trader Sam's tiki bar that is in Florida. It is located in the Polynesian Resort, but you don't have to stay there to be able to go to there. You just go in and you tell the security guard that you're going to Trader Sam's. So I knew that there was potentially going to be a long wait and it's very small, but the experience is supposed to be amazing. And then they've got all these like crazy tiki glasses that you can get with all the different drinks. And I really wanted to go. And so trying to figure out the timing and just we had like so many other things going on that it ended up like the best time to go was going to be like later in the evening. And my concern was in the evening that's when like it only opens at three and the later you go the busier it is. But we were just like, you know what, we were kind of in the area, we were coming home from Disney Springs so we are like, let's just try. It was crazy to get to. We got lost and but we finally found it and the wait to get in was going to be at least two hours and at that point it was like six o'clock and I was the only one who was really interested in going so I wasn't going to make everyone wait two hours to get in. So that was that was like my only disappointment from Florida because going there was one of my top things that I wanted to do. But now I know the best time to go is like an hour before it opens and then just get in line. And I was still trying to figure out if I could still do it even if I had everyone like just drop me off and I'd just do it on my own. But it didn't work out this time, but now I know and now we know how to get there. So next time 100%, I don't care how long I have to wait, I'm gonna go to Trader Sam's. But we went into the gift shop at the resort and they had these Trader Sam tiki mugs. So I was like, you know what, I can, I'm still gonna get this because I was so disappointed that I didn't get to go. And apparently the lady said like these sell out pretty quickly. She said I didn't really realize that but there was a guy who was in earlier who was super excited because he's been trying to get one for a long time and they just got more in. So yay for that. So I've got another tiki mug for my collection. I don't know why I just like drinking out of a tiki mug out of the hot tub, but I do. So yeah, that is my Florida haul. Did so much shopping, but I love everything I got. Very successful. It was such a great trip and makes me wanna start going back there every like couple of years. Cause like I have the opportunity cause my aunt and parents quite often go now that the pandemic is over. Uh, they'll be going there more. So it's just a great option. If you know, you got the winter blues and you need, you know, a week of sunshine. So, uh, yeah, so that is it, and I will.